I've got an idea to build a canal. It'll be a series of interconnected dams. That this is supposed to be water. We're still away from Gaton to Pedro Miguel, all the way down to Miraflores, which will let the boats go through. Wow, you sound like a man with a plan and a canal in Panama. without at least looking at it. So I'll bring you to do the cursory Panama Canal experience. on the road when we went to go uh, to uh, San Blas. What is that? It's a kawadi. Uh, a kawadi? It looks like a kawadi. So most of this area is under, oops, most of this area is under construction unfortunately. So um, we're not allowed to go in there. But it looks something like that. Escalador. Again, it's that lock. You can see a little more of it this time, including uh, 
what happens when they open the locks to flood them or lower them. I've got an idea to build a canal to be a series of inconnect interconnected dams. We're still away from the ton to Pedro Miguel all the way down to Miraflores to let the boats go for a Wow, you sound like a man with a plan and a canal in Panama. So this is essentially what's going on here. They're going in all these different little locks and each lock fills up with water to let, them, let the boat in and then lowers in water to let the boat meet up with the next set of water. So it's almost like a stairs, a dam stair. The height of the locks is equivalent to that of an eight-story building. Hey, you see that? Eight stories of block building only uh, in the ground. I wonder when the, how many times they have to dredge this thing. Uh, I don't know. In the Gatun area, there's entire oh. villages of people that were uh, displaced and uh, their villages are still underwater to this day and you can go scuba there and see their sunken homes. What the hell's up with this guy? Hey. He's controlling the lock. So this is what it looks like if you're controlling the locks. It's not too fancy. There's no NASA involved in this. It looks NASA-y. It's NASA-y, but it's, I mean, I could do this with a lot of equipment. I can set this up in a day myself. Oh, I see it. He's in the dark, though. Up there. There's another man. out to this man and then there's Bob. Bob. Again, we got a floater. There's no floaters gonna come through until like 1 so 1.30. We're not gonna stick around till then. When did they give it to Panama? That was 1977 that they would transfer it by 1999. So in 1977, wow. we said, tell you what, y'all can have it back, Not yet. but you can't have it back for like 20 years. 22. 22 years. Why? Because, you know, it's, we gotta transfer it to you. Yeah, but like you could train us, there's mostly Panamanians working there. Yeah, look. We don't want to not have the money. I, I, look, buddy. I want to be mostly dead by then. And Jimmy Carter's like, I just want to grow peanuts and, and cure malaria and such. And this guy's like, 22 years. And he's like, uh, uh, okay, I decided. I just want it, okay? And then jobs for every Panamanian. There were jobs. No, it was. The whole process was racist. The whole process was super racist. Like, this is, this is like hegemony, <laughs> American hegemony yeah. in, in, in work. Finest. Yeah. So, how are you enjoying your history lesson? Yeah. Um, it's cool. I learned more from SV Dallas, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean. Oh, look at all these captains. Whoa. I think there's sailors, sailors everywhere, baby.
that area is going to fill up and that area is going to let water out. Once that area fills up enough, these gates open and then a boat will get faster. This, all this water is completely potable by the way. I know it doesn't look like it, but you can, you can just dip a glass in there and drink it. Still diffuse sunlight everywhere. Then once the boat gets out through here, then it gets through that final lock over there. It's free. It off. I think it's more locks to the blue. Through. There's like a whole set of blocks, right? This is only the one set of blocks? Yeah, this is only one set of blocks. Uh, this is the last set of blocks, I believe. Are you sure? I thought so. I thought that's what the, what the dude was saying. Yeah. Nice. Uh, those are all, what, like the same kind of stuff, like um, from Oakland has the ones that look like droids. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you see in the, uh, off in the distance, you can see the at, -AT walkers that they're preparing for the invasion. Yeah, yeah. But that, so like that Oakland. makes sense if it's at the end of the shipping yeah. passage. Yeah, this is where you unload, take your goods to uh, Panama. Uh -huh. yeah, you can see the city is off in the distance that way. Yeah, not too far away. Just sitting over that hill. You got look, there's the Mothma's Tower poking out over right there yeah. in the middle. More downtown Panama over there. Oh well, yeah, so this is it folks. This is the Panama Canal. Uh, again, we're not going to stick around to see a boat come through because we've got a five hour drive to La Sur. La Sur de Panama. Okay, she just said that way over there, there's a boat about to enter the locks. So maybe we're going to wait for that vessel? No, we're going to go because we have to drive. But I mean, it's cool that it happens and I've seen it happen. And I like seeing it happen in a time lapse. Yeah. But what would any tour be without my wife seeing the gift shop? All in all, what do you think, baby? I'd say worth the 10 bucks, worth a quick trip. It was only 20 something minutes away from the city. So worth that. And, and I didn't even see a boat go through. So if you got to experience more after COVID when there's less clothes, like the cafeteria, the what else did you say we were missing? The IMAX theater. The right IMAX theater, me. et cetera, et cetera. A lot of the things are closed due to COVID, but I was good with what we paid for and got. If it, uh, if you get even more, even more bueno. <laughs> These stairs are brutal, baby. Look at her covered in sun. I'm sunburnt in my crevices. My perineum is burnt.
and we were just driving on our way to our hotel when he saw the an Arepa's place. And yes, it's right off the highway, but uh, it's like one of his favorite things, and the food looks absolutely delicious. Um, and it's, it's all about getting the local experience. This is some of that. Mmm. Mmm. The plantains are already amazing. So yeah, it's great so far. Oh, and I got this pina drink. Super delicious. Mmm, the red bass. Mm, he's happy. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. And the sauce. What kind did you get? Chorizo, huh? You see that cheese pool? Yeah. Mm. It's really good. Cows. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the kind of guy who points out whenever I see cows. I, I've been seeing cows for a while. I thought, I just tell you. I'm aware. Oh, poof, that takes a huge weight off my chest this whole time. I thought I was seeing cows and they're going to be that's something I had to break to start a conversation. These cows are going to go be food cows. This is the Kai place. They're going, they're going there. And I'm really sad because I feel like I've gotten to know a few of them. We've been behind them for a minute. And they've been looking at us. Look at them. They were looking at us. Oh, this is so horrifying. I'm so sorry. I hope it's quick and painless. God, I don't even know if it can be quick and painless. Did Temple Grandin make things change in Panama too? I don't know. I don't know. That's sad. Very sad. Okay, we finally found it after going the wrong turn a couple times. No. Bloquear entrada. What is blo blo blocking at the entrance? Blo bloquear entrada. Solo respeto del hotel guest only. Soy un guest. Yeah. Soy turista. <laughs> soy turista, lo siento, soy turista. Lo siento. What? Lo siento, soy turista. Siempre soy turista. En mi país soy turista. Uh, so he only knows a few words. <laughs> Most of those are soy turista. <laughs> All right. Look at me, I'm a damn lobster. 
Uh, so quite the drive. I, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. If you're not willing to drive like six or so hours nonstop, this is not for you, I would say. But if you are, man, you get to see so much more of the country. We got to see like quite a bit driving through of how, you know, the other side lives. I think it's pretty cool. Lots of interesting uh, little things you pick up about the culture with the way they drive. You know, how often they flash for the cops and all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, it's worth it though. I say rent the car, take the trip. So we have an absolute sea view on every floor. 